10 o'clock Tuesday morning, heading up to the hospital to see my mom. See what's going on today. See if there's anything new. Hopefully there's a little improvement. So we'll uh, keep you posted here. I'll turn you around a little bit. And you can ride along for a while if you want. So stay tuned. Well, I got here to the hospital. Boy, did I get lucky, too. I got a handicapped spot right here by the front door. First parking place. Best ever. I got her a little teddy bear. So, I'm going to give that to her. So I'm on my way up to her room. Probably see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, it's uh, 3.30, more, more or less. They had, uh, my mother, when I walked in, they had her, well, yeah. She was, uh, let me start over again. When I got there, she was in bed, and she was awake, and we were talking, she's, Still full of gibberish, like, like, uh, you know, not right up in the head. But anyway, she wanted to sit in the chair, so they got her up and put her in the chair. And uh, we talked, and, you know, she, like I said, she wasn't making a lot of sense. But therapy came in about, oh, I don't know, an hour ago therapy and they got her up and she walked with her walker out in the hallway and she did really good so they wanted to know about sending her back to the nursing home and I said well I think she can go back but I'm, I said, she's going to have to go back to the therapy part not her personal care so I didn't hear anything for a while they came in and did a COVID test because I guess the nursing home required them to do that. And then uh, just a little bit ago, they came in and said they're sending her back to the nursing home. So they're going to send her back to the therapy unit at the nursing home. And uh, they're getting ready to take her now. So I left. And tomorrow morning, got to go up tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning in the nursing home. And uh, do that, whatever it is with that lawyer thing I told you about. And she'll be there, and my brother. And my brother wasn't there today. I talked to him on the phone. Well, I, had, I called him and told him they were taking her back to the nursing home. So anyway, it's, uh, it's all that power of prayer that you guys help me out with there. She's much, be much, much better. I don't know what the heck it was. They still said they, therapy still said that they haven't determined what caused that yet. And I don't know, like I said, I think it was medication, but would they admit that? That's what I'm thinking. Anyway. Anyhow, that's what's happening. She's going back to nursing home. So, yeah, physically, she got up and walked just fine. But now that mental thing, I don't know. My brother said he's going to... She didn't have her hearing aids in, so you got to yell and scream everything. And he said getting her hearing aids in might help, but I don't know. Because she's talking... At least to me, she was talking all kind of things that didn't make sense, like things about family members, years ago kind of family member things, you know, <clears throat> but I'm glad she's going back to the nursing home, and I think she's glad to go back too, although I think it'll only take, physically I think couple days in the nursing home or in the therapy and she could probably go back to personal care. Boy, 
that boy. And I thank all of you for prayers, for sure I do, really. So I'm heading home. She was all worried about me the whole time I was there. Like a worry word, but I mean excessive, insane kind of worry. Like, they brought her food in. Oh, that's another thing. They brought her lunch in. And it was uh, mashed potatoes with turkey, green beans, and peaches. It looked good. And right away, she, as soon as they did it, she started trying to get me to eat. You know, do you, you got to eat? Do you want some of this? Do you want some of this? And I said, Mom, I'm not. This is your food. But she doesn't have good coordination with her hands. She's uh, She can't hold on to things. Like that bear I brought her, she kept dropping it. You know, she can't, she just didn't have any control of her hands. So I spoon fed her. And she actually ate almost, well, she ate all the mashed potatoes, almost all the turkey, and about half the green beans. Because <clears throat> I kept it going. I, I spoon fed her. I said, here, take another bite. Another, because she didn't eat nothing yesterday. I mean, they didn't even give her anything yesterday. So. She ate quite a bit, and then she ate some peaches. She drank all her milk. That's the first time I ever spoon fed my mother. I never, I haven't spoon fed anybody since my the kids were babies. But I, I spoon fed my mother, and she ate good. So I was happy about that. And then I was starting to gnaw it off. I was falling asleep in the chair. She was falling asleep. We were waiting and waiting for therapy and they finally came in and got things moving. The doctor never did get in, I guess. I don't know, I thought they said that they, he had to come in and approve her to leave, but I suppose he just looked at her chart. On it. He probably just looked at her chart and told her to, it was okay. Because doctors nowadays, they don't even have to touch you. They just have to look at your charts. When, when my dad was in Pittsburgh, he had a... He was in a coma. He had a... What do you call that when it's a septic shock or septic... What do you call that when your stomach leaks, septic something? he was in coma, but he was in a little room and there was a glass door, like a glass front. And there was a computer outside. And the doctor, when the doctor came, he didn't even go in the room. He just went over the computer and started going through, you know, whatever was on there to make the de ter determinate what he needed. I'm really rambling, aren't I? probably going to be a long video. I'm, I know I jibber-jabbered a lot on the way up here. But I got nothing else to do. So it's still a miserable day. It's that, Well, like I said, it's a good day for me, but most people would consider it miserable. 74 and it looks like rain. Cloudy skies. But it's nice for me. I like it like this. I wish it would rain, though. But I don't wish it would rain because I know we're going to get rain from that Hurricane Debbie. What a mess the world's in, right? Storms and hurricanes and war. And Washington, D.C. is messed up. But we keep moving on. We keep going forward. That's what I'm going to do. Boy, I ate nothing but junk food today. I should go to Wendy's and get a hamburger. I've been dying to get a Wendy's burger. I ate a, I ate a honey bun. I didn't eat before I left the house. So I grabbed a honey bun when I went into Dollar General. So I had that, and then I had a couple little donuts. And 
dealing with some peanuts, you know, junk food at the hospital. Vending machine junk food. Because I was there from what time did I get there? Probably 10, 10 30 or something. It was 3 o'clock when I left. And I just picked away at junk food the whole time. My mom's lunch looked so good. They have pretty good food at this hospital, I think. They've improved a lot in the food category. Unless you're on a mush diet or something like that. Like she was when she first had a stroke. She had that. Everything had to be mushed up. Like Everything looked like mashed potatoes. But this meal she had today was really good. So we're heading out of Dubois. I hope everybody stays safe here in the East Coast with the storms and out on the West Coast with all the fires in California. I saw this morning the fires in uh, California. And we got the rain coming over here. And I don't know what's going on in Texas. Texas is always a mess. Lately, Mid America, Nebraska, Kansas. I know I have viewers from uh, California, Florida, and Texas, Wisconsin, Michigan, and my home state, Pennsylvania. In fact, I have some viewers pretty close to me here in Pennsylvania. not far away. And then, uh, Tammy, I don't know, you didn't tell me where you live, Clearfield? Or did you tell me? I didn't pay attention. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna let you go. Stay safe, everybody. Get your umbrellas out. Stay frosty.